it's just important to still have pleasure because like you depriving yourself of pleasure isn't going to take it away and I think it's kind of the same thing with like diet culture like a lot of diet culture is like rooted in like shame and like not having pleasure but there's a way to like eat well for your body type and still have enjoyment and still allow yourself to have candy and still allow yourself to go out and have fun I be the natural one moving in and out of this earth Hi! Welcome to Maya's world. All right, you guys, so I want to talk about living with a Bartholin cyst. So my name is Maya. I am a YouTuber. I make videos about my hair, I make videos about blackness, I make videos about um, reproductive justice, um, vaginal health. So that one's where today we're going to be talking about my Bartholin cyst. I want to talk about living with a Bartholin cyst because I feel like so much stuff online is always about the process of removal. And a lot of times we don't have access to getting these things removed ASAP or the money to do it because a lot of times it costs a lot of money if you're in the States, I've paid for it. Or in my cir circumstance, I've had two vaginal surgeries in one year and having a third one isn't something I'm interested in doing anytime soon in this year. So I have to learn to exist with it, which has so many complexities. And I got a message from a young girl on my Instagram and she was telling me about how panicked she was to have a cyst and a lot of her language you can tell she felt so much guilt she was like i don't know what i did to deserve this i'm afraid to tell my mom i don't know who to talk to about this and so i was thinking i was like huh okay like let me address a lot of issues that i think we feel when we have um any kind of chronic illness any kind of um thing that's not going away because this isn't necessarily only specific to having a Bartholin cyst this is like any kind of illness that you that you just have to live with and there's nothing you can do about it at that time. A lot of people post online about like the remedies that have worked for them, but like one thing you don't see is the amount of people that it didn't work for and like how they're living with it and what they're doing with it. And I want to also talk about like pleasure, sexual pleasure with having these cysts and yeah, let's get into it. Um, I have got my first Bartholin cyst a year ago. Actually, it was like literally a year ago. It was like in March or April and um, it started off as like a really small lump, it got very big, I had a fever, I had to be rushed to the hospital, I had to get it, um, I had like an absent, no, I had to get it drained, and then the second one I had was a procedure where they like left it open, in marsipulation. And then it came back literally a week after, or maybe a week and a half after I had that intense procedure. So here I am obviously incredibly depressed because I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I got this thing that came back a week after I had the worst pain of my life in surgery. It just fucked with my head. It's been um, two months since then. March, is it March? February, March, February. I got it in mid-February. So it's almost three months since I've had my cyst again, which means I've lived most of this year with a cyst and without a cyst. And there are certain things that I think you can do that would make it it makes it feel better for you. Um, one of the biggest things that's helped me is like shifting my mentality of like praying so much about praying for it to go away. Like I think that caused me so much stress is like living your life in hopes that it will leave or it will go away is sometimes more disappointing. Like I remember I would like put witch hazel and I would sleep and pray and wake up in the morning and it's still there and do it again and again for days and days and days and days and weeks and months and that's depressing because it makes you feel guilty for yourself I think it's really easy to get the shame back on yourself like why isn't it going away what am I doing wrong maybe I'm not steaming for long enough what's wrong with my body it's like these I think when you are often trying to fix something it, it makes you question everything like why isn't my body working? What's wrong with me? I'll never be like, I can't, you know, you, you just start to have so much self-doubt and self-hate. So I think one thing for me is like, stop having expectations that it will go away and like learning to embrace living with it. Um, I think the biggest thing that my mind went to is just kind of feeling like, oh my God, my pussy is going to be uh, just like ruined and look ruined forever and like kind of going into that mentality which isn't a helpful mentality and I think um, I was worried about pleasure like I realized that when I had my cyst the second time well, well the third time technically but when I had the surgery done I was so afraid to experience pleasure I was afraid to get wet I was afraid to masturbate I was afraid to do anything because I didn't want to um, 
into like I didn't want to interfere. I was like scared that it would do something to my my cyst. And then I think one of the biggest shifts came when I spoke with my gynecologist and she was like, just live your life like it's normal. People live with this their whole lives. And I think for me that meant that like getting that approval from her was like really important for me because it's just important to still have pleasure because like you depriving yourself of pleasure isn't gonna take it away. And I think it's kind of the same thing with like diet culture. Like a lot of diet culture is like rooted in like shame and like not having pleasure, but there's a way to like eat well for your body type and still have enjoyment and still allow yourself to have candy and still allow yourself to go out and have fun and do things that you like. And like, I'm very much so a big proponent of that. So I feel like that was one of the biggest things that I learned is just like still 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 have pleasure like I'm still worthy of pleasure I should still masturbate and and have sex and do what makes me feel good and I think one thing that um that I think also helps depending on like where you are sexually if you have a partner if you don't have a partner if you are solo pleasure if you're pleasure getting pleasure from other people whatever your situation is if you're working with another person I think it's best to inform them and let them know like what this is and maybe just be like hey I have a Bartholin cyst um, here's an article you can do research about that to understand like what it is um, because I think then a lot of times it's not the shame of like worrying what they're gonna think when they see it like I think that sometimes really can like affect you so I think like explaining it to your partner and just being like hey I have this and learning how to navigate your sexual pleasure with those things is like really empowering and also having and it shows you a lot about the person that you're with because if they're also able to like be like cool like let's work around this let's work with this like that's like really encouraging and i don't know it depends also on where your cyst is placed like i feel like the closer your cyst is to your vagina depending on if you're having like penetrative sex or if you're masturbating like the second the third cyst i had wait was it my third one or my fourth one i don't know one of my cysts was closer to my um urethra also closer to my clit so that was harder for like masturbating um, and then the cyst I have now is closer to like my vaginal hole or whatever. So that one's like obviously harder for like any type of any type of penetration with self or whatever. So kind of learn to adjust. Like if one if your cyst is closer to your vaginal opening, then do more clitoral stimulation. If your cyst is closer to your clit, then do more vaginal stimulation. Or just do other stuff, other kinds of stimulation, other things that make you feel pleasured or make you feel good. But I think it's um, important to still like do things that make you feel good, but just learn to work with that, that, that you have that now. I've also like heard, this hasn't been my case, but I've had a friend who had a cyst and hers popped while she was masturbating. I don't know anything about this. I'm not like swearing by this, but it's just something I've read online. But it depends on your body, it depends on you. But I feel like one thing that's helped me is just like stopping expecting it to go away and just accepting I have it and saying, okay, I have these things. How can I act accordingly? Obviously, if you're having any kind of sexual interactions, like you have to be more um, careful. Right? You have, you know, you have, you have a cyst. You have to just, you have to just act accordingly. Like, if you're into like rough vaginal sex, maybe that's something that you like can't do while you have it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's like not something that like it's. I don't. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, that's the only thing I wouldn't recommend is anything that's kind of really intense there everything kind of has to be a little bit slower it's just changing tempos you know what i mean i think you just have to learn to change tempos but it doesn't mean that there's not power in different tempo changes um if you're yeah if you're like into rough sex and you have to like calm that down there's like a lot of power in other and exploring other kinds of um of pleasure and also just like getting removing this idea that sex has to be like through um vaginal penetration like there's so much in pleasure that is not that. And I believe that you can still find that with a with a Bartholin cyst and still have a Bartholin cyst not necessarily increase in size if you're able to take care of that. I take a, I do a sits bath like almost every day, which is where I just pour Epsom salt and I steam my vagina and often it's like super hot and it like is annoying. But I just do that every day because it also just soothes it. If I'm having any kind of pain, it soothes that that area in my body and that like helps me too so i do sits bath every day sometimes i slip though like i haven't done a sits bath in like three or four days which like isn't the best but i'm just like trying to stop being because i think when you're like super anal about trying to get it to go away you just aren't living your life and you're adding more stress to your life than than not and that's not going to help either so 
I do the sits bath to help soothe me. I take baths in general because that also helps um, with a cyst. Heat helps with the cyst. Um, don't put cold. This is what my friend told me. I don't have like any like science degree or medical degree to agree with this, but she told me to not ice it because some people are saying ice a Bartholin cyst and she was like, don't ice it because ice makes it freeze and you want it to break down. So use heat, don't use ice. Because I know online you're reading, should I heat it, should I ice it? I incorporate a lot of turmeric in my diet now because I know that turmeric helps. You know, I just think doing these things, these well, I, I make a lot of um, smoothies and juices. I've, I've stopped eating, I've, I like almost don't eat sugar or candy anymore, like at all, because I have a friend and she has endometriosis endro, endro, and she had to cut off candy altogether. So I just take other kind of ideas that are just like good typical practices and I incorporate it. But we're also in quarantine, we're also going through a pandemic. If you slip up, if that's like, if that, just like allow it. I just think for me, learning how to like exist with it and learning how to like love myself regardless on if I have this cyst and not falling fucking a prey to like, yo, the amount of messages I've gotten from people trying to sell me products to make it go away immediately. And I'm like, yo, this is my vagina. Like, I don't want to put some shit I don't know will work on my pussy. Like, be careful, be cautious. Like. And there's always going to be people who prey on individuals who are struggling with this. So just listen to your body and don't um, shame your body for for what it's doing. And just like continue to receive um, experience pleasure. Continue to experience joy. Don't let this like ruin your life. I've been I've had a cyst literally nonstop. I've had like four cysts, four cysts in one year, and I've had two surgeries in one year that's not like it's not good yo that shit is like it's horrible but i am learning like okay i cut have a cut off like everyone's like oh when are you gonna get surgery when are you gonna get surgery and i'm just like bro i'm not getting any more surgery like i'm done i'm gonna have to work work with this for until i feel like i can't obviously you don't want it to abscess absinth absence you don't want it to get infected so take care of it just like that and i kind of look at like some people have like growths on their face or bumps or you know moles that are big just learn how to live with it and i definitely think it's possible and i'm still on a journey of like getting better and accepting joy and also just exploring the different ways you can get pleasure that doesn't have to be through penetrative sex and just exploring your body of of pleasure and like not rejecting that because it's very easy when you have any kind of vaginal problem vaginal health problem to just be like ah oh, it's my fault don't fucking don't we're not we're hold, i'm holding you accountable do not shame yourself for this it is definitely livable it's definitely like it it's it's shown me so much the amount of empathy i have in my heart for this and like i also feel like it's one of my callings is like working around stuff like this because there is no information and the messages i get on this i always have time for this like i always have time to hear people's experiences and my heart always goes out to every person who has this and yeah like i i've gotten so much empathy and like speaking honestly about that had made me nervous but it's like really influenced my work and my art and yeah like i'm i'm taking this as it's a part of my path it's something that i can't change about who i am right now i don't know what the future holds with it but this is where i'm at and there's nothing wrong with having this so i hope that's helpful i love that my comment section has been like a place for us to kind of consolidate our ideas and, and share tips and stuff so please share your experiences keep sharing like it gives me encouragement myself so there's nothing to have there's nothing to have shame for this like this is just it just is so have a great day thanks for watching cheers I'm not dead, I'm